Greetings of the day. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, cyanosis and congenital heart disease. Cyanosis is bluish discoloration of skin that occurs from the presence of deoxygenated blood, which is blue in color in the capillary beds. For cyanosis to be clinically apparent, it should, the amount of uh, deoxygenated hemoglobin minimum should be required is 3 to 5 milligrams per deciliter of deoxyhemoglobin must be present and it corresponds to an oxygen saturation of 70 to 80 percent on room air okay so a compression of placenta during birth typically leads to polycythemia and term newborns and as a result clinical cyanosis develops more readily in newborns because a smaller percent of circulating hemoglobin must be desaturated to manifest this sign so we must so compression of the placenta during birth typically leads to polycythemia and term newborns and uh, as a result clinical sinus develops more readily in newborns because a smaller percent of, of circulating hormone must be desaturated to manifest this sign so pulse oximeter is helpful in evaluation of sinus however its limitation should also be recognized and readings may be inaccurate when oxygen saturation is less than 80 percent additional practices as cool per, uh, extremities uh, poor peripheral perfusion, skin pigmentation and proposition may reduce the precision of the pulse oximetry reading. And congenital heart diseases that present with cyanosis include transposition of great arteries, tetralgia fallow, tricuspid atresia, truncus arteriosus, total anomalous pulmonary venous subretin. These lesions have in common the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. And this leads to circulation of desaturated hemoglobin and a cardinal manifestation as a cyanotic heart disease. Uh, another condition resulting in cyanosis is persistent fetal circulation, which can be caused by structural diseases, um, structural heart disease, or non cardiac disease, including meconium aspiration. Like the another condition is persistent fetal circulation, that is a structural heart disease or non-cardiac non disease, like meconium aspiration, pneumonia, sepsis, and pulmonary hypertension. Lesions that restrict the pulmonary blood flow, such as a critical pulmonary stenosis, do not typically cause cyanosis without presence of associated defects, such as atrial defects, atrial septal defect, ventricular septal defect. Uh, that allow for right to left shunting okay so in the so do not typically occur without the uh, presence of associated vsd and vsd okay so uh, the congenital heart disease can lead to cyanosis in the first weeks or for some lesions episodically throughout the childhood if uncorrected lesions such as transposition of the great arteries are associated with the mixing of the oxygenated and deoxygenated usually through and associated VST or AST and produce cyanosis in period immediate, immediately after birth. Uh, conditions associated with a persistent pulmonary hypertension allow blood to shunt right to left. Okay, conditions associated with the persistent pulmonary hypertension allow blood to shunt right to left through patent uh, foramen ovale or through a septal defect. Retrol your fallow can produce cyanosis at birth through mixing but is also associated with episodic cyanosis that is called as tet spells okay so throughout infancy and childhood if uncorrected it's a large inter uncorrected uh, septal defects example of like such as uh, ventricular septal defects can cause cyanosis in adolescents and young adults and in, in a condition termed as eisenmenger syndrome Chronic left to right shunting across a non restrictive defects leads to hypertrophy of pulmonary arteriolar musculature that causes a gradual and irreversible rise in pulmonary vascular resistance and a right side heart pressure until suprasystemic pressures develop and shunting switches to right to left, which produces cyanosis. So non-cardiac causes of cyanosis uh, range from benign peripheral vasoconstriction in response to cold or crying causing peripheral cyanosis to sepsis with poor perfusion or even effects of toxins such as methemoglobin. methemoglobin. Most common congenital heart defects are that must be considered in a cyanotic unit are briefly reviewed. Okay. Thank you very much for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel.